What's going on, everybody? Welcome back once again, gentlemen. So, we're out here today, man, and we all know that I'm having the cam positioning sensor intermittent circuit and the um the traction control light that's the c121c code now i've done some homework dude so this is where i'm at since i reset the code yesterday on the video it hasn't came back so i undid my battery right and i tied the two terminals together to do a hard reset I found some corrosion underneath the positive cable, so I'm gonna clean that up. But then I come over here and I disconnected my PCM because I wanted to look inside these plugs, right? So they are filthy, man. Look at all of them. Right, so I'm gonna clean these up and we're gonna plug it back in and then we're gonna see where we're at. Now, I just wanted to show y'all this. This video ain't going to end. It's going to be a couple of days, man. I just wanted to get it started and show you where I'm at and where I'm starting to try to figure out if it's the ABS or the PCM or what's going on, man, because I have no PCM codes and I have no ABS codes. It's just throwing that C121, which I stated in my video yesterday, and I was wrong. It is the traction control, the ESP allowed torque request is being denied so that's the issue i'm having that's what the c121c code is and that's what we're dealing with so i'm hoping this will help i'm going to clean that pcm connections up really well i'm going to smear a little bit of dielectric grease on the face of them plugs and then plug them back in kind of like we did the front control module and then we're going to drive it the rest of the week the weekend sometime next week or if it messes up again next week I'll put another video out and we'll try something different but at this point it's try something and if it works great and if it doesn't we try something else and when we find something that works we'll all have the answer it's kind of a mystery to me first time I've had to deal with it now I am gonna plug that PCM in and I do want to tap on it a little bit after I clean it up smear a little bit of dielectric grease on there like I was saying so <clears throat> I'm hoping once I get it plugged in, plug the battery back in, start the truck up. I'm going to tap on it while the truck's running to see if the truck changes any or if it'll trigger that check engine light or if it'll even trigger the traction control light. And if it does, then there's something in there that's playing out. And if it doesn't, then we'll drive it and we'll see what it comes up with. We'll see how many days I get out of it before the traction control light comes back on and the check engine light. So with all that, man, y'all just sit back and relax. I got a couple of things to do and then I'll get back with y'all. All right, guys, so I pulled the PCM all the way off the truck, man. I was looking at it. It looks like an aftermarket PCM. I don't believe that it is a Chrysler PCM. I see no markings that state that it's a Chrysler. So with that, it is what it is. But I wanted to show y'all do you see the corrosion down in the bottom? So I'm going to clean that out real well. We're going to clean all this out. I'm going to reinstall it. I'm going to inspect the plug. If I have to, I'll find a way to clean that out also. Now, now my air compressor is loud. Turn that thing off. So I just found that and I do need to clean that out. With all that, dude, it might end up being a PCM problem. It does kind of get shed a little light on the fact that well, that would cause a mess up in the engine or with the PCM. So with all that, give me a few minutes. We're gonna clean this out. We're gonna put it back on the truck and see what it does. So man, I just wrapped up a piece of sandpaper, stuck it over that prong, cleaned it up real well. There's still a little bit of residue on the bottom right there, but I don't think that's gonna hurt. So I'm gonna get out there and clean that plug up and then we're going to plug it back in and see what we got, man. All right, guys, so I got this thing mounted back up, man. I got it cleaned up. So I want to know two things. One, make sure your bolts are secure. You do not want your PCM just flopping around underneath there. And two, make sure that when you push your connectors back in, you push them in hard enough, you have to hear them click before you push the lock tab in. So now I'm going to do my battery. We're going to fire it up. We're going to let it run. I'm going to get out here and tap on that PCM lightly to see if maybe there's something loose or something burn up in there. And if it changes the way the truck drives 
while I'm tapping on it or the check engine light comes on or anything crazy like that, then it's a for sure deal that the PCM is where my issue is at. Got it all hooked up, man. I had to clean my terminals. Um, there was a little bit of battery acid on the, or corrosion on the positive side. So I gave you the pointer about the PCM. If anybody wants to know how to remove one, which is super simple, just let me know. Drop down in the comments, let me know. I'll do a quick video on it. Show y'all how simple it is. So let's jump in this truck, man, and start this thing up. So we're at 188,971 miles. Here we go. I have drove the truck a little bit today, guys. Fire right up. We have no lights on the dash so far. Everything's good. Man, it reset my <laughs> it reset my oil change due notification. That wasn't good. I hadn't changed the oil yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get something and tap on that PCM. I'm gonna leave y'all in the truck looking at the dash and then I'll review the footage and we'll see if it does anything and I'll listen to see if the engine changes any while it's running. So let me set y'all up on this steering wheel so y'all can stare at this cluster for me and then we'll see what we can come up with. Here we go, man. I'm gonna walk out there and tap on it. So we're looking for traction control light, brake light, ABS light, check engine light will be on this side traction control will be on this side anything else that happens i mean we're just going to record it and see what happens so here we go Well, it doesn't look like anything happened. So that's just a simple test. I mean, if you have something fried in there, if you tap on it, it may possibly stall the engine or make it rough idle or something like that. So it's just a quick and cheap way to test it, your PCM. Now, with all that, dude, I'm gonna drive the truck for the week or until it acts up again, I'll put a video out then and let you know what we're gonna do next if this doesn't solve the problem. That one terminal did have a little corrosion. We got it cleaned up and hopefully that'll be that. So with all that, y'all keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe. Always drop your boy a comment and I will catch you on the flip side, big dog. <laughs>